Happy New Year, everyone, from all of us at Yankee Dabbler. My name is DJ, and I'm so happy to be back talking about trades, showing trades, playing with trades, and hopefully a lot of buying of trades. As you can see, I purposely have not shaved since the last video because I'm in anticipation of this video. Or I just haven't shaved this week. Either or, we got a bunch of new things to take a look at. And we're going to go all the way to end scale land to take a look at our first product of 2022. And that is some New Jersey Transit stuff. Let's check this out. As you can see here, I have a couple of different multi-level trailer cars here. And these are really cool looking cars. If you, anyone is from the New Jersey area, goes into New York City, up and down New Jersey, you see these New Jersey Transit uh, things on the rails today. If we could look at the cars here for a second, we have a couple of different variations. For example, this is the Pennsylvania Reading and Seashore Lines car. So it's a really neat looking heritage car that they have here. This is one of our standard cars. As a matter of fact, I think he even says there's a toilet inside of there. And then this is our cab car. As you can see at the end of this, we have the cab right there. So the Jersey Transit likes to run these car trains in reverse a lot. It runs those trains. Now, a bunch of these cars have different features and different road names and different uh, just different things about them. So they retail uh, they retail anywhere from around 60, uh, 50 to sixty dollars. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler anywhere from thirty nine ninety nine to forty nine ninety nine. So figure out which one you're looking for, which one you like, and those are the ones that we will yeah you can go with. Now, of course, you need something to pull these, and we got these cool looking modern diesel locomotives. These are the ALP forty five DP locomotives. As you can see here, I have two different variations. I have here a Heritage. Erie Lackawanna diesel, and that is a really cool look. I love that uh, paint scheme. And then, of course, we have just a regular Erie Lacko. Oh, I'm sorry, the regular Jersey Transit li uh, livery that you see on the trains today. Now, these engines retail for $259.95. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $189.99. Those are the cool, a uh, really good deal to have us a really cool look at diesel locomotives, but you know we like to run them and that's what sells them. So let's put them on the track and all aboard to see what they sound like. The ALP 45 DP is not just a diesel engine, it's diesel electric, which means it can get power from either the onboard diesel prime mover or the overhead electric wires. Thank you, Ken, for that technical assistance. And now let's take a look at this engine in action. All aboard. Here is the horn. The bell. And all aboard. Now going to New York City. All right, and now we're going to back them up here. And I don't know if you noticed, but all of those uh, different car. Uh, multi-level trailer cars that we have are lit up so if you take a look inside of them you can actually see the interiors lit up that is a really cool looking design there So that's a cool looking engine, especially if you want something modern. If you live in the tri-state area, we're located in New Jersey. So we see these trains all the time. A lot of people like to model what they see. So I think this is a really cool thing to, for you to get. Now, they are not going to be here for long. Usually, whenever we get something that's a very regional railroad like the New Jersey Transit, they tend to go pretty quickly. So if you're interested, check out our website, yankeedappler.com. Get them running on your layout, or you can always come into our store. We're open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5. Well, if this diesel electric set away your appetite here, I have something that just might be for you straight from the fantasy world themselves. We got these beer can tank cars. Check out these guys. These are really cool. Now, of course, these are not prototypical cars, but they look really cool. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different beer cans. Um, there, there's no beer in them. I, I've already checked, but you know, 
Uh, it's easy to see them though. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different uh, designs here. I like this one. This one just says beer. So no doubting what's in there. Got Paps, got Schlitz. I got a whole bunch of different tank cars here. And these are just really cool looking cars here. So if you're looking for something with a little whimsy, I think these cars are really neat for you. And they're very affordable too. They retail for $26.95. We're selling them here for $18.99. So I think that's a really good deal. Get a whole bunch of uh, beer can tank cars on your layout. I think you'll really like them. Hey, I heard uh, Paps says something about eat something in January. And if you're looking for something that's a little bit more realistic, I like these ore cars that we have here. And they, for whatever reason, I just always like the ore cars. And I got a couple of different road names here. It's CP Rail, I got Canadian National, Union Pacific, and Great Northern. And those are really cool looking cars here. As you can see, all these cars just glide on the rails here. They are really well put together here. They are great cars from Atlas. I probably should mention that they're from Atlas. And uh, I think you're just really going to enjoy those. And the neat thing about those ore cars, is the price check this out this ore cars retail for $18.95 they're selling for $13.26 you get a whole bunch of different ones on there I mean that is just a great deal to have I love those ore cars I love these tank cars here so if you uh, want to get some end scale items on your layout come to Yankee Dabbler today and get these on your layout. all right cheers to more trains nothing oh well well they're nice looking cars anyway we're going to go to HO Scale Land, and we're going to take a look at some cars from Scale Trains that I think you're going to really like. These are the Pullman Standard PS2 CD covered hopper cars. Check out these guys here, and I think you're really going to like them. I have a whole bunch of different row names here. As you can see, some of my personal favorites here include the Penn Central, as you can see here. That is a really cool look. We got the Burlington Northern. We just got a whole bunch of different really cool cars here. And uh, the neat thing about scale trains is they just put an incredible amount of detailing into these cars. And I think you're really going to like what you see when you get these cars on your layout. If we could zoom in here, take a look at a closer inspection, you just see all the different detailing, all the different writing, all the separately applied parts that go into these things. I mean, these are just not thrown together. There are a lot of time and effort that goes into these things. Matter of fact, even the air hose has a little uh, little silver thing at the bottom there to simulate the real thing. Die cast metal wheels, good undercarriage there. I mean, these are just really cool looking cars. And if you want a nice high quality car to put on your layout, I think these are the ones for you. Hopper cars are a personal favorite of uh, railroaders out there. So I think you want to get them on your layout. Now they retail, let me make sure I'm saying the right numbers. We They retail for $51.99 and Judging by the quality, that is probably worth it. But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $41.99. So, good deal to have on these cars. And, of course, you can always throw that engineer hall discount and get a little extra off as well. But uh, I think you're really going to like these cars here. Get them on your layout. Scale Trains makes a great item, and I think you're really going to like them. I know some of you are looking for a brand new diesel locomotive to pull some of your trains. This uh, These tank cars are false advertising, I'm telling you. Hey, look, there's even a little beer tab there. That's kind of cool uh but yeah nothing in them anyway i know some of you are looking for a brand new diesel locomotive and you might not want to spend a lot of money but we got something from scale trains and their operator line check out this Faramex sd45 and this is a really cool looking diesel locomotive and what i really like about it is simply the paint scheme it says the esu essential sounds in it so you're not getting essential uh, a lot of the higher end sounds that you might get from some of the more expensive diesel locomotives but if you're looking for a really nice engine that's affordable that sounds good that looks good and can pull its weight i think you're really gonna like this paramex engine so hey maybe we'll attach some hopper cars to this engine and roll it down the line let's check it out so let's start up that paramex engine and see what it sounds like all right let's pick up our consoles of uh, hopper cars All right,
Good stuff. Hey, look, it delivered me a beer. None. Starting to get more frustrated with those cars. Anyway, so that is a really cool looking diesel engine that you can have on your layout. As I said, they retail for two forty nine ninety nine. We're selling there for one ninety nine ninety nine. I think you're really gonna like it. That's the price that a lot of Atlas engines go for. So if you want to get something that's from scale trains, it's not gonna break your bank. I think that's the way to go. So come into Yankee Dabbler and check it out. That Fairmax diesel doesn't uh, fit what you're looking for here. We got some brand new SD45s from Scale Trains, and I had the most colorful bunch of diesel locomotives you have ever seen. Check this out. We have here Penn Central in black with some red. I have another Penn Central in black. I have a Southern in black. I have a Southern Pacific. Ooh, we're getting gray. Okay. And finally, I got an Eerie Lackawanna. Ooh, lighter gray. Wow, what a colorful bunch. All right, let's talk seriously about these engines here. If you take a look at these Penn Centrals here, so as you can see, these are really cool looking engines here. And it really, um, really is a representation of when the New York Central and the Pennsylvania Railroad merged together. You saw pretty basic paint schemes out of these locomotives here. But the neat thing about this one is it has the red P and the white C for the Penn Central logo. Then I have here the very basic black and white. And these diesel locomotives are what they classify as a Phase 1 B1 locomotive. Okay, so these are SD45, Phase 1, B1. Next, I have the Southern engine here. And this is, a, of course, a high hooded model here. And I really like this look here for this SD45. And this is actually a Phase 2 A2. And yes, there will be a quiz later. This is a really cool looking engine here. I love that the bell is protruding out here, like the little warning things on the walkway there, rather. Uh, these are just really cool looking engines here, and I love the subtle variations that Scale Trains does. And then finally, the Sutter Pacific, the Bloody Nose version, and the Erie Lackawanna are what we call a Phase 2 B2. And these are cool looking designs as well. As you can see, this again, the subtle different variations, the horn placements here. Here I have the horn up here on this hood here, whereas this one's off to the side. I mean, Scale Trains does a really good job of making each engine uh, prototypical and specific to the row number. Whew! I feel like I said a lot. Time for a beer. Look, beer. I hate these cars. Anyhow. I think you're really going to like the way that these diesel locomotives sound, just because I know I'm going to like the way these diesel locomotives sound. So, once again, let's let them roll. We're going to run the Southern, and we're going to do a little game. Take a look at the way that the engine is positioned, and you're going to tell me which way you think it's going to go. This way, or that way. Let's find out. For America's most non-entertaining game show. First thing is first, of course, we got the horn. Ooh, that is a great looking horn there. I got the bell. And let's see which way it goes. Did you say that one? You did, you were. Hey, look, I got more hopper cars. All aboard. Now arriving on track number one, train 3147. But how come I don't have any beer? Yeah. Now a couple of things that I didn't take a look at when we took a look at the engine earlier. Why don't we take a look real quick if we could see. We have classification lights on the model as well. So I can change them from green to red to off to white so that's a cool little feature there and it also has truck lights as you can see over here we show one of the videos too you can see that the trucks are lit up as the train goes around the track so that is a really cool looking engine there 
Now, these locomotives retail for $349.99. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $279.99. Again, you're, it's a really nice looking engine. Of course, you're paying for the scale trains uh, design there, but it is a great looking engine. I think the ESU sound sounds great. I think you're really going to like them. As a matter of fact, we have more SD45s that are going to be coming in soon. So stay tuned in another future installment to take a look at what other road names, in case any of these didn't fit your bill. Maybe we got something coming in for uh, for you real soon. So come to Yankee Dabbler, check these out, or stay tuned for some new ones. I hope you enjoyed our first video of the 2022 year. That means I can shave now. Hooray! Mrs. will be happy about that. I hope you saw some really cool looking engines or rolling stock that you hope to get on your layout. But if you didn't see what you are looking for, don't worry about it because we got a whole bunch of new products that we got in over the last couple of days that we just not have a chance to look at. I think our Steam fans are going to be pretty happy about what's coming up next. So stay tuned for another episode of What's Happening here at Yankee Dabbler, where of course every day is a train show. Uh, if anyone's interested in sending me real beer, I would appreciate it. I mean, they're nice. Just, you know, just, I can still see, you know. I mean, you know, hey, here, cheers, engineer. I'll have a good year. Alright, uh, if you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure that you click that subscribe button, get caught up on all the new things that are happening on this layout. As a matter of fact, I hear he's actually taken out his living room to put a switching layout. So, that that's something. We'll see if his missus lets him do that. Alright, and of course, uh, thank you very much for tuning in. We're uh, here at Yankee Dabbler. We're going to conclude this week's video with a Railfan video. We're going to take a look at the 475 of the Strasburg Railroad. Going through uh, the snow, I think it's very appropriate considering we're starting to get some snow here on the eastern side of the United States. Take care, everyone. Until next time, we'll see ya. Now, if you excuse me, I know these don't have beer in them, but that's where I'm heading. Take care, everyone. That's not beer either. Uh, cotton candy. No, probably not. Uh, air. No, grease. No, paint. Uh, I don't know. Uh, hmm.